Hello and welcome to another video. This is Tom from Six Foot Networks. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about system integrity protection. Now this is a technology, specifically a security technology, that is built into macOS, uh, starting with macOS X El Capitan. Now it's designed to prevent potentially malicious software from modifying protected files and folders on your Mac. Uh, there's a pretty good article about it on Apple's support forum, so I will just summarize it. Essentially, uh, prior to this technology, the root user had no permission restrictions. You could do pretty much anything you needed, however you wanted, and it could you know, access any system folder or app on your Mac. Uh, software could obtain root level access when you entered your password to install the software, and that allowed that software to modify or overwrite any system file or app. Now in some ways this is good, in some ways this is bad. From a security standpoint, it's pretty loose. So Apple came up with this to protect certain parts of the macOS system and essentially they're all listed out. The protection list is, is pretty clear on Apple's support form. But suffice it to say that when you're an admin or an engineer working with Macs all the time, you may run into issues when having system integrity protection, protecting folders that you're trying to make changes to legitimately. Um, now, a word of caution, you must be booted to the macOS recovery partition to actually be able to manipulate system integrity protection. Now, that's why you're looking at the recovery partition here on uh, on this video, and it's at the macOS utilities uh, splash screen that comes up when you boot into the recovery partition. Now, you boot into recovery by holding Command-R immediately after you turn on your computer. You give it a few seconds to load into recovery, and then you can let go of the command our combination and then you'll find yourself at this very window. Now, in case you've ever uh, find yourself in a boat where you have to use macOS utilities, some of these tools in here are available inside macOS. Uh, disk utility, for example, a lot of things you can't do to a disk or a system disk that's in use. So you have to boot it to another you know, like in this case, a recovery volume to actually fix it. You can reinstall macOS, so if you botch your copy, you know, you have the ability to, uh, you know, reinstall it. Time Machine backups, I hope you're doing them um, because that's the easiest way to just back up your Mac, especially if you're using a laptop. And then there are a few other utilities that you can use. And one of those utilities, uh, you can actually get into the terminal from here. Now, in order to manipulate system integrity protection, you have to do it from the terminal. Now, you would do that by typing csrutil. If you type csrutil and hit enter, it'll actually tell you that you're about to modify the system integrity protection configuration and it gives you the options of what's available. Now, you can clear the existing configuration and, and view the status of the current configuration but you can only enable or disable the, the configuration in the recovery OS. And also you can make netboot changes. Uh, we're going to worry about CSR util disable. That is the command that you will need to type to effectively disable system integrity protection and release the protection on all the folders that are uh, essentially turned rootless on the system. Once you restart this, you will have full access to your machine. And then in order to go back, you can actually re-enable it after you do your processes just to maintain integrity across you know, the platform moving forward. So you can disable it, make your changes, re-enable it, and off you go. That is it. I mean, system integrity protection for everyday users is a must. Uh, you really want this because if you disable this on a system that an end user who doesn't understand Macs, they could essentially delete files and configurations that make their computer run. 
And with this in place, they won't have permission to do that, even if they type in their admin password uh, to escalate as sudo or enter root. So yeah, I hope this helps you out and uh, maybe it'll even avoid some heartaches in the administration world when it comes to maintaining and keeping these Macs running for posterity. Thank you for joining me on this. I hope you have a great week. If you like what we're doing, please feel free to give us a thumbs up and even subscribe to the channel. I'll try to do more of these moving forward. Again, I appreciate you sticking around. Until next time.